Anyway, thanks again for the offer. It was really cool meeting you. <sighs> You're most welcome, Clyde Schmidt. What? If you sincerely thought I would pluck an assistant from the scraps this empire has to offer, then you're a great deal more foolish than you look. So, I'll make this easy for you. You will come to Arcadia, and you will finish what your cold-hearted father refused to begin. My dad? <laughs> Yes, your father. The very same man I begged to relieve me of this affliction. This ticking time bomb inside my body. And the very same doctor who cast me out of his clinic and left me to die. Of course, he went and died himself before I could return for more persuasive offer. But fate seems to have spared his only son from whatever grisly end he met on that night seven years ago. So I'm afraid you will have to do. You... You think I'm just gonna let you stand there and trash talk my dad? Considering I am still on course for a timely and painful death, I think I have every right to. Well, you don't! What the hell do you know? My dad loved helping people. No. He loved having a talent no one else did. Deciding who deserved his help and who did not. Fortunately, you are both young and pliant, I'm sure. We won't have the same problem with your skills. I'm not a doctor, genius! <laughs> you think I need a doctor? I'm sure even you could put that brain to use and decipher why someone with a magical affliction would be set on a specific doctor. The great Dr. Kleinschmidt. Few would have known he used magic to fix what medicine could not. It's quite the mystery how your father was lucky to avoid detection for so long. Perhaps a select few are shamefully indebted to a Malric Kleinschmidt. Perhaps that's why you all survived as long as you did. He didn't. Our secrets were exchanged in confidence. However, no deal was officially made. Considering I'm still well on my way to being torn apart from the inside, I don't see why the Kleinschmidts should be spared the same fate. Mm. Are you gonna kill me? No. Mercia will execute you themselves, once they hear of this little scandal. The son of a magic user, being allowed to run free in their own fortress. My, that won't do at all. What, what is wrong with you? This has nothing to do with me! What did I ever do to you? It's not about what you did. It's about what your father did not do. Pick up where he left off. And we'll forget about this little scandal. Ha! <laughs> well, guess what? You're out of luck! Cause I can't even use magic. Why the hell would I even try? But you... Oh man, I can't wait to tell Boris all about you! When Mercia, when the Emperor finds out- can't use magic. Is that so? Well then, if you are truly Amalric's flesh and blood, then your body will claim otherwise. Uh, uh, wh what? Uh, uh! You'll soon discover, Kleinschmidt, that I am never wrong. Is that understood? Uh. <sighs> Sadly, we don't have time to pull you over the mental hurdle of wielding the same power used to slaughter your empire's innocence. You will be leaving for Arcadia with us until I'm finally free of this aberration set to tear me apart. Though, rest assured, Kleinschmidt, 
Saving the life of a man with my influence ensures that the threat of more tragedies between our nations and the loss of countless lives does not become a reality. <laughs> you are doing a great service to your empire. <laughs>